Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing this cool uh, three-dimensional illusion effect in Adobe XD. You can incorporate this into uh, your uh, into your website or you can incorporate this as just a simple animation. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, I have an announcement to make. I am officially on Patreon. So go ahead and support my Patreon page. You can become a patron for as low as $1 and go up to $5. You have a lot of benefits. You can interact with me. Uh, there are guidance sessions and a lot of other cool stuff uh, that I'm introducing through my patron. So go ahead and click on this big become a patron button. Um, so for, first of all, uh, this artboard, I'll just start off with a 1920 by 1080 artboard. It can be smaller or bigger depending on your needs. Uh, the first thing that I need to do is create one ellipse. And this ellipse, I want this to be uh, slightly on the smaller side. So let's keep this 50 by 50. 50 pixels by 50 pixels. Remove the border and I want the color of this uh, ellipse to be like this, um, like this deep blue. And uh, I want to create a quick repeat grid with this. So I'll go ahead and click on this repeat grid. And I'll drag these, uh, these anchors or these uh, handles from left to right. And uh, what I'll be doing here is reducing the amount of space here as well. So I want this to be um, very close to each other, almost as if they're joining together like this. And I just want to duplicate them and create one single line just like this. Now I want to ungroup this grid. Go ahead and ungroup it and you'll have this line which is just a basic combination of circles. Now I will do one quick trick to blend colors together and I've done this before in other videos but I'll show it to you quick. Uh, on the other end I want the last circle to have this uh, light pink kind of uh, thing going on. Uh, perfect and what I want to do is basically select all these circles and uh, go to the plugins panel and there's something called color blender I click on color blender and as you can see it has now gone from this uh, deep blue to a purple to a pink it's just blending into one color okay now that I've got this color that I've needed uh, I'll just select all these circles and what I will do is I'll go to the plugins panel and click on this arranger for XD once I've selected this I'll go to the wave uh, on top here so what I want with arranger to do is uh, here is uh, make a wave and make a wave which is closely packed together. So the distance has to be less. Distance has to be, uh, uh, can be somewhere around 20. Ampli uh, period should be less as well. So about 1000. Uh, see how um, wavy this is, how uh, much the amplitude is. So we can reduce the amplitude for sure like this. And we can change the period uh, to be less or more depending on what we want uh, less period will give us just this pattern increased period will give us a smoother line um, so we need something which is bang in between so uh, something like 800 also will do or something like 900 also will do yeah 900 is fine distance we can keep more or less depending on how uh, long the wave we want it to be we'll keep it at about um, 27 or how about 26 perfect <laughs> and um, while I've selected this I'll click on repeat grid and I'll just make a repeat grid out of this and reduce the distance between each of these lines uh, until it just joins at one point and perfect and let me just copy this over just like that and I'll just ungroup this grid and as you can see we have already created a shape which we had done something similar here uh, with our previous uh, artboards now as you can see I've uh, if I select this again and I change the period to a larger number like 5000 change the amplitude to something like 500 
uh, I can change the angle of this as well. So right now, if I s see how uh, this is now like a layered thing here, and um, I can increase the size of this, of course, and I can change this now to whatever I want. So we will keep this here at one level. The second level we want it to change. So Command D, Control D to duplicate the artboard and select select this entire uh, shape together. Change it to another period. So 5000, we uh, will change the amplitude to, I don't know, 800. And as you can see, this shape is changing as we speak. 25, see, if I change the distance, how everything will split up. So. I don't want the distance to be very different. So 10, how about 12? Perfect, how it stretches out the shape now. And the more the amplitude, the more the 3D effect we'll get. So amplitude, we can even keep at 900, just like that. And just center it, just like our previous artboard. And I will duplicate this one last time for one last effect. I can even give a minus amplitude. So for this one, I'll give minus 900 or yeah, minus 1000 and give a period of about 3000 or a little more, 3800. Perfect. And distance I want to give, um, let's say 10. Perfect. And I'll just place it in the center again. Now it should flip on a 3D axis here, right? So the first one, uh, so that this thing really works, we want to make sure that all have been grouped under one name. So this is group 19. So in the second one, it's also group 19. The third one is also group 19. Just make sure that all these groups inside each of these is the same exact name. Otherwise, the effect really won't work. Let's go ahead and prototype this. If I click on this 3D shape and bring the arrow to the second artboard, I want to say tap, auto animate, ease out. I'll change this to ease in out. That's how I got it to be smooth. And I want to be this to be about three seconds. And the second one, I'll just click on the entire artboard, bring the arrow to the third artboard, say ease in out, and three seconds again. And I'll do the same for the last one, but I'll bring it to the first artboard, so so that it cycles. So if I click here, wow! See how that animates? Wow, that that's that's pretty good. And if I click again. See how that animates again on a kind of like a negative axis, so it turns back and it turns back around. See how cool uh, Adobe XD can be and how you can change um, the way you think to make even 3D objects inside uh, or illusions inside Adobe XD. I'm sure you liked that video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and also like this video if you did i post videos every monday and thursday and do do consider going to patreon.com slash chavla to support this channel grow